Well, hey friends, in this Trim Healthy Tuesday, I'm going to teach you how to rice a cauliflower. Rice cauliflower can be used in your S or E meals as a rice substitute, or it can also be used in things like breadsticks, pizza crusts, and my favorite, stromboli. So it's a really super simple process. You're just gonna to wanna to wash your cauliflower and then you're gonna core it and cut it up into chunks. Make sure you discard um, the core and any of the leaves and anything of that nature. You just want the white cauliflower florets. Stick them inside of your food processor. Put the lid on top of your food processor and then you're just going to pulse. It's going to take a few times to pulse it to get the consistency that you would like. I personally like a finer rice to my cauliflower because I like to use the rice cauliflower in strombolis and as crusts. I don't tend to use it as a side dish in replacement for rice so I like it a much finer consistency. Carefully remove the blade from your food processor, tap off any of the cauliflower into the bowl or into a waiting pot, and then dump everything inside of a pot. I like to use a larger pot because it does tend to kind of puff up a bit. And in this time frame, I actually riced one and a half cauliflowers and it was so quick. I did it while I was making supper. Fill your pot with water and then what we're going to want to do is bring it to a boil. Once it adds, it's at a boiling point, set your timer for three minutes to cook. Once the three minutes is up, pour your cauliflower mixture into a waiting colander or strainer and shock it with some very, very, very cold water. You want to stop that cooking process. Keep doing this until all of the steam is gone and the cauliflower is cold. Once the cauliflower is cooled and has drained from the water, I like to just bag it up into some freezer baggies. I'm using a half cup measure and I'm putting about two cups into each freezer bag. Press out all of the air of your freezer bag really, really well, seal it up, and then you're just going to want to flatten the bag. This is good so that everything doesn't freeze in a, flump, in a clump and freezes more easily. And there you have it, super duper simple and really easy. Just pop these bags in your freezer and you have cauliflower rice whenever you need it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.